Pinata. Greetings. Let me break it down for you. He's an Omnic monk who wanders the world promoting peace and spiritual enlightenment. However, in game it's a little different. Balls. Some purple balls. Some yellow balls. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and you get to yeet people off the map with this kid. So, here's my plan. 10 hours of Zenyatta to see what makes every player despise seeing him on their team. Oh, and you're gonna wanna watch this video because I'm facing everything from toxic teammates to breaking my mouth and most importantly, proving that I'm not a plat support player. So, let's get straight into it. We started this dreaded challenge in the medieval world of Iconwall, and to be honest, with a whopping zero hours on Zen, I was surprisingly hopeful. Boys, you know what they say, Zen is basically Hanzo, and uh, I've played Hanzo before. You got no chance. So, due to Jedly's obvious distaste for my character choice, I was solo for this first game. You know what I need to do? I need to unlock my inner peace. Oh wait, is that- Oh! I need help. Oh no I don't, I am the best. Just like that, I had overcome the first of two main challenges which come with playing this Omnic. Flankers. Anywhere you go, there will be someone looking to pick you off. That was rough. Oh my god. Not only did we lose this round, but the reality of Zen's movement was shining brightly. I tried everything, but ultimately didn't even cap second point. <sighs> Alright, I gotta lock in bro. Through entering the second half of this game with a different mindset, my gameplay began to improve. Ooh, bap slow. Fuck it. Oh! Okay. Nice. It even got to a point where I was making their buff Junker Queen think that Zen was broken. Oh my god. Something tells me this guy is not happy with me. Even when faced versus Tracer, I was simply destroying him. Oh! Alright, so it turns out Zen just makes the enemy tank so angry. <laughs> Look at him! Victory. Entering hour 2, I queued up for competitive, where I was first introduced into the villain of this story. You see this guy right here? Shrine? Let's just say he didn't take this game lightly. Alright. Yeah. You okay? No, I'm not alright. I'm not alright. <laughs> 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 right, you need. It is so it's fucking so echoey, dude. Holy shit, he is. Yeah, exactly. Before we continue, here's some context. Our Baptiste got unlucky, missing an immortality, which could have potentially saved our Hanzo. However, whilst every other player on our team was positive, this guy. Well, I'll, I'll let you see it for yourself. I took a oh, shit. And one. his name is fucking Superiority. And he can't fucking play Baptiste. Oh, yeah. I am on 600 ping. Why are you the only person in our team negative and the only person I would. Friend? Oh, I, I would suggest, really, I would suggest really that you mute this guy. This guy's Who's really shit, right so you should mute him. If, if, if he was making... To be fair to him, I simply wasn't playing the best. In fact, that's probably an understatement. However, trying to concentrate while having your local Australian scream his lungs out is almost impossible. GG healer diff, apparently. Touch, touch, touch. Uh, I'm really bad at Zen, bro. Remember this guy's name, because his toxicity might just come back to bite him later in the video. I've never seen someone lose their mind so hard over a game. Hey, you fucking fucking lost it, eh? By this point, our spirits had been brutally battered, making the idea of queuing up once again utterly unthinkable. I'm still so annoyed, bro. I actually reckon there's nothing worse than a DPS who thinks it's always the support's fault. Despite my lingering anger, Jedly shared a code that granted access to a workshop mode, a much needed opportunity for me to refine my skills against flankers. Oh, you check out this workshop code. Oh, yeah, I think I've played this one before. The AI are like so hard to hit, but it's good because it makes it easy in game. This was pretty boring, but for the rest of the hour, I practiced Zen's projectile speed. Alright, uh, I think I'm ready, bro. I think I got a plan as well that people aren't going to expect. After experiencing noticeable improvements, I felt compelled to give this another shot. This time with a new tactic that I believe could potentially be groundbreaking. Oh, that was actually insane. Aight, hear me out, Jedly. Yep, yep, yep. Flanking Zen. That might be the worst idea you've ever had. I don't think it gets more mentally retarded. I'm on the flank. Ow! I'm on the play. Boom! Oh, messed up! Oh, oh, well done. Oh, oh I'm dead. Honor me. Honor me. Oh my god, I'm him. No, I'm not. Those workshop codes were beginning to pay off as I absolutely clobbered the enemy. <laughs> I got Mercy pocketing me now. Sick. Mercy. 
percent is on crack. I mean, he's not wrong. I'm literally just existing. I'm. I can't really do anything. So I'm just like kind of walking around taking damage and dying, but then you just like kill their whole team. It turns out I extremely underestimated Zen's power, as I managed to complete my first goal of having more kills than a tank. Definitely wasn't because Jet was lagging. Ah, that might have been luck, but surely it doesn't work a second time. I'm in the back lane! Boom. We got Beast Melon mad at me. You know, he doesn't seem too happy. What? What kind of animal goes out left side? It's him! <laughs> now Beast Melon is an animal. After absolutely terrorizing two low diamond lobbies, I was feeling unstoppable. And whilst queuing up again, I actually believed I had found the secret formula. Since he's floating, there's no footsteps. I'm actually, I'm actually five head, bro. All right, turned out to be a lot more effective than I thought. I mean, what, what variable could make me lose? A lever. Defeat. Yeah, so we kind of lost. Throughout the sequence of games, I found myself constantly facing a series of unfortunate events. For instance, one particularly frustrating situation left us with a backline tank. Uh, I'm not kidding, by the way. He thought he was a sniper. Um, is, is he gonna push up? <laughs> He's just leaving you up there. All right, I'm tired. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, we gotta push up. Oh, it's Austin got fucking damned. I mean, if you made a comm saying you wanted us to back up, sure. Uh, I used Why five bombs on you, how'd you knock it out? I didn't know if you were fucking leaving, bro. Oh, I'm losing it. I'm actually leaving. Leaving? We were now three hours in, and this was probably the worst start to a video I've ever had. While Jed Lee was taking a breather, Dude, I kid you not, I'm gonna put a hole in monitor. I decided to review some of my games to identify some mistakes. And as it turns out, there was a lot of them. Perhaps flanking on a hero with no movement wasn't the best idea. So in this next game, I really homed in on some key skills. And oh boy, it worked. Hey, yo. YouTube, YouTube. Alright, I know I said I'm not gonna flank, but fuck it. How's it dead? Uh oh. Oh shit! Oh, what a nano! That's insane. I've never had an Ana that good. Easy. <laughs> yep, dead. Big trans. Oh, the body block! You don't teach that shit, bro. Alright, uh, I don't no, we can do that with the fuck. I mean, the Widow should just be able to see us, no? Oh, shit, I just tried to take it. Too bad. I'm just kidding. Oh my poor guy. I got it. Trancing. W. Having reviewed those games, I was seeing things that were simply invisible to me before. This led me to being fairly hopeful for these upcoming games. I was now halfway through the challenge, and I was on the home stretch. Yet, in an unexpected turn of events, the Overwatch gods descended, giving us what could only be described as the Overwatch classic. Disappointment. Why the fuck am I in Singapore servers? Dude, I'm losing my mind with this ping, bro. Another one? Bro, give us Australian servers, bro. Bro, it's so unfair when you have the first people that have like 10 times better ping than you, and I'm on bloody Zenyatta, man. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't hit a single arrow this whole game. <laughs> like, not one. Oh, so I was dead again. Although every game was increasingly testing my patience, I could see an improvement in my gameplay. The primary issue, however, was my high ping. I mean, even my friends could see it, as they ended up leaving because of how mad we were getting. Alright, hopping off for the night. I'm sick of this game. Being stuck at Diamond 2, I recognized a noticeable gap in my gameplay, which needed to be fixed if I wanted to enhance my win rate. So, with the goal of improvement, I dedicated myself to an hour of scouring YouTube for tips. And this is where I found the GOAT. What's going on guys, my name is Karki. It's safe to say he's played the game at least once, as I got the most out of his VOD reviews and one tip versus every hero. But if I had to sum it up, here are three tips that I believe could potentially improve your gameplay. 
starting with Transcendence. Whilst most people like to save it for that 5-man grab, often it is very useful in many other situations. 2. Discord. While still quite basic, calling out a target who is discorded will most likely lead to their death. And finally, know when to switch off Zen. A simple dive comp will ultimately lead to your downfall and maybe make you rage just a bit. So with newfound knowledge, I confidently queued for a competitive match, and after 8 hours, I was hopeful that my goals were achievable. But I guess only time would tell. Oh, Messi dead. No jump. No way, I won that. Suddenly, playing Zen became easy, and I felt almost invincible, as if nothing could hinder my progress. Ah, oh, fuck out me a bitch. Okay. That's two? McCree's dead. Easy. I am farming three wins. Dead. Great. Dead. Not oh, bad, you know, we're actually winning. For five straight games, everything went perfect, and since it was a new day, our ping was staying relatively stable. However, I was still worried I might have just fallen short of achieving that goal. As we embarked on this ninth hour of Zen Yada gameplay, we maintained our dominance, continuing this unstoppable streak. However, in this first match, something, or rather someone, presented a new challenge to both Jed Lee and me. Bloody Shambali, I don't like this map. Dude, dude, dude! <laughs> what? Shrines on the every team! <laughs> oh, dead boys! God, that dude. Driven by the rapid toxicity he had unleashed, we embarked on a mission of retribution, determined to take revenge through winning this game. But there was only one problem. Oh, uh, I'm on 600 ping. Suddenly, Jedly's ping soared, increasing the challenge we faced. However, one thing was certain. We weren't about to wave that white flag. Uh, I'm gonna go flank left side. He's flanking. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, you got messed up. He shot me through the payload. Whilst it was a rocky start, I knew my Zen gameplay had improved, and it was only a matter of time before we started rolling. I got Sino behind us. Oh, shit. Until, like one. Nice, <laughs> that's him dead. Look at this dude. Let's go. Each kill, I felt his blood boiling, and this time, match chat was dead silent. Am I about to get dragons? Yes. Yes, I am. No, right, capping two points in Shambhali isn't even that bad. While Shrine sat there witnessing his world crumble, Jedly and I could do nothing but laugh at his petty existence. Dress it up. Shrine dead. Dude. Okay, that, that team needs a map, bro, for real. Wait, in trap. Oh. <laughs> oh, this character takes skill. Actually, I might tire this. I might tire this. Yeah, yeah. it's basically 2v5. I'm going. I'm oh, body blocking. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, right, I right, uh, we got that tracer. Yeah. Tracer can die. Keep nice. On. He's dazed and confused. He's one health. Nice. And it's uh, just not copyrighted. Go shrine! Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, that's a revenge story if I ever seen one. That guy is silent. Dude, shrine's not having a good day. We won this game with absolute ease, and by the end of it, with shrine saying absolutely nothing, I partly felt bad for him. But there was no time for reflection. Masters was still within reach. And honestly, what could possibly stand in our way? As the 10th hour approached, I found myself remarkably close to my final goal of achieving Masters, with only three victories needed. However, time was rapidly slipping away. Boys, are we ready to win some games? Fuck yeah! If we were gonna reach this goal, everything had to go perfect. Oh, yes, he's killing someone. That knife right there. 
Ah, uh, it doesn't go in here. There's no way, bro. You see, this game didn't go to plan. This was supposed to be our finisher, that Back wow factor point. where all the improvements came together. LeBron James, man, what the hell? Ah, no. Yet, as I got flamed once again, I was left utterly speechless. Yep. Oh, I'm, <sighs> I'm done with this, man. Oh my god, we actually lost that game. I, I don't know if it's possible anymore. The defeat from that game left me feeling completely hopeless. The prospect of squeezing three more games into a mere 35 minutes seemed utterly impossible. Nevertheless, I propelled myself through the next two matches with an urgency them, bordering on madness. Something had managed to change my mental, transforming my previously peaceful yeah. Omnic gameplay oh, fucking shit on these so shit. into an uncharacteristically oppressive villainous assault. Fuck, I'm gonna go fire. Like, this shit betrayed off the right. Fucking stupid team, it's so fucking shit. I had become what I hated the most. Summertime, summertime. You know, the video could very well end here, a tranquil fall into toxicity, but I think this one felt a little different. Setting at 4 wins and 3 losses, if I lost this next one, then I would have to start a completely new split, and it would have for sure failed. But part of me didn't want Shrine's presence to consume me, so um, cue it up. This was one of those moments. It was either a win or a loss. Nothing more, nothing less. Yet, as we exited this gate, let's just say my team's synergy wasn't the best. Oh, I hate Faro. He got booped off. It's, it's unbelievable sometimes. That timer was ticking by like the blink of an eye. Regardless of whether it was us getting booped, our failure to choose right side, or my missed shots. Oh, I suck. We ended up with a score of 99 to 0. The chances of coming back from that much of a roll is slim to none. And my team knew that. This guy's a GG team play next game. Ugh, I mean, he's not wrong. You know what? I ain't toxic, bro. This game's winnable. I mean, what, what do I have to lose, bro? Fuck it. He's dead. It's winnable. It's actually winnable. We won the second round, and now it just came down to the decider. Kiri. She's gonna die. Oh, let's go. Fuck, man. Team's dying. Why is there a trap here? Oh, okay, now nah, we got this though. We actually got this. Brian need help, Ryan. Not even close. Oh, Andy lifts the tire. The Kree kills one. It's actually winnable. The Kree kills two. Ash kills one. Get him. Ryan is an absolute animal. Oh. Oh. Ryan! Ryan! That's my tank! Oh. And with that, the journey had just about come to an end. We had faced it all, completing goal after goal, improving my gameplay, and above all, having a ton of fun. But I think there's still one more thing we need to check on. I Jedly, are we ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, please tell me we get it. Oh my god, bro. How the fuck did you get your full rank up? Wait, how, how did I rank up three? If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe, as it would mean the absolute world to me. And maybe check out my Discord, we have an awesome community there. Also, here's another video just like this one, which I think you'll really enjoy.